literally dropped this truck off about two weeks ago now before we went on vacation and they said that they were only going to need it for a few days but they actually ended up needing it pretty much that entire time because they were waiting on some files to come in for the tune that they had to flash into the computer or ever however else that works i don't know but uh so the timing worked out perfect having it gone the whole time we were on vacation that way when we got back like we are now it's ready and um i wasn't waiting on it because i didn't need it at the time anyway so it worked out just perfect i'm super excited to see how this thing runs i know you guys are too just super super stoked so let's go get this thing picked up so we are in the truck it is a foggy mess out here we're gonna put it on defrost get this windshield clearing up here here's our new cts2 I mean, it's got all kinds of things to read in here, which is pretty cool. He did label the switches. You've got overdrive and lockup. He said that they printed those off and stuck those on there. That way, you know, whoever gets the truck, he's like, you might know the switches, but somebody else might not. So he said that he put those stickers on there that way. Whoever gets the truck, you know, they know for a fact which gear is which and nobody's confused and it's just much more simple. He said everything runs great though. He said the truck runs healthy. Everything's very, very lively and good. And you can hear a little bit of a whining um, with the belt right now. It is pouring rain like a monsoon. I mean, just tons of humidity. The belt's probably got some moisture on it, making noise because it's it doesn't normally do that, but it's of course pouring rain and the humidity is at like freaking 90 percent said that the uh fuel system is functioning awesome makes great fuel pressure um the fuel rail system he said you guys that are more familiar with common rail and stuff like that he said everything is spot on where it should be um truck runs great and uh he said that he would be very surprised if the truck didn't make about 700 give or take on the dyno he said depending on whose dyno you're on he said truck can make 850 truck can make freaking 675 he's like i don't know he's like but you know given the list of mods that you said were done to the truck in the tuning that we did matched up with what you told us spot on so he said i'm, I'm assuming that that information was correct because it tuned just like it should have been and um he said that it should be around 7 to 750 give or take so pretty excited about that i hope you guys are too this truck i mean i'm super excited to get it down the road so we got the third gen back here i'm gonna go over a few things with you guys about the truck when i dropped this truck off i was asked do you want it to be built for towing because if you do that's going to be kind of hard to tune it for that because it's got a huge charger on it and it's a single charger it's just not going to be great for towing i said no i don't want it for towing they said are you wanting it to be like a super easy to handle street driving like a super street drivable truck that's like you know not like full-blown horsepower like all it can all it can get but just enough to have a little more performance and be a super well street mannered truck i said oh, no, i'm not looking for that I, I said i'm looking to get the most amount of power out of that truck possible to really use it and they did that <laughs> this truck screams and it, it's it's insane how tuning of the truck makes such a difference on how this thing runs versus just mechanical like you know improvements in terms of like fuel supply injectors big turbo stuff like that so um the truck is a street monster they're like well you said you wanted all the power that you could get out of it with what was already done to in terms of parts so that's what we gave you and it's a street monster and um it's awesome here's the only thing though it's almost scary to drive because the throttle now is super responsive and it responds incredibly and so if your foot slips just a little bit too much especially on wet pavement like this these tires just light i mean it just it wrecks your tires like instantly so you got to be careful with that i don't know i'm kind of torn on what to do guys because i called him on my way back one of the guys there that worked at the shop i said hey the truck has it it's got a lot of power and maybe it was just because it was raining that's probably has a lot to do with it because even the honda was spinning out today when i had to floor it i'm like this thing is like like kind of scary to drive he was like well you said you wanted all the power you could get out of it with you know with all the stuff that was already done to it i said i did say that i i know i'm like <laughs> This thing is kind of intimidating to drive though, and maybe it's just the wet pavement, but I said, I'll give it a few days. And if I think it's gonna be a little bit too much for somebody, 
I might be bringing it back to have a different tune flashed into the computer because I'm like, beforehand, it was like tons of fuel. I mean, plenty of power, but it was just super smoky and it doesn't smoke that bad anymore. But it drove super, super nice but the throttle wasn't as responsive. It just had a lot of wasted fuel. It was just blowing black smoke like crazy amounts. Again, it doesn't blow that kind of smoke anymore. It, it still does, but it's not like unreal just amounts of you know, smoke that's gonna like clear four lanes of traffic on a highway and make it so nobody can see. Hey, the giveaway ends Monday, August 16th. So that could be today, could be the day before. The giveaway for this truck will be gone. And right now we're running the one and only time we have ever done this. And this is 25X entries. We thought we would do this one time and see if you guys liked having the opportunity to get 25X. Anyways, if you wanna get entered to win this truck, plus $5,000 cash, 25X entries are live right now and the giveaway ends for sure within the next several hours. I think less than a day, this giveaway is gone. So I'm gonna show you around the thing a little bit here and go over what exactly they did in terms of the tuning setup and whatever. Um, I don't have the paperwork on hand, but they were hoping that they could put between 180 and 200 horse tune on it. And he said that he would give me all the paperwork with that when we settled up in a couple days on the work, depending on what I decide to do with keeping the tune the way that it is, or if I wanna reel it back a little bit. And the only reason I would even consider that is because it's going to one of you guys. And for all you guys out there that have driven super high performance trucks and you know how to handle them and you're totally familiar with them, that's great. But if a, you know, but if an 18, 19 year old kid wins this truck, who's never owned a diesel, never owned any kind of a high performance vehicle, I would hate to see somebody drive a truck that has just a little bit too much power for somebody that's unfamiliar with power and lots of torque and high speeds and then they end up wrapped around a pole and I don't I don't want to read about that. I don't want to have that on my mind. So I just want to make sure that the truck drives the best for somebody that has not been in something that's super high performance. And I know that there's no idea on who's going to win yet. We don't know who that's going to be. It's random. I'd rather play it safe than sorry and have the truck built so that anybody can drive it and have a lot of fun with it versus you know, only experienced drivers can have a lot of fun with it and people that aren't experienced are going to be scared to drive it every day. So I know it might sound like kind of silly. Why would you want to reel back the power a little bit? But it, it just makes sense if you're in my situation. I mean, you, you understand. But this thing does not like to go slow. And when I say that, I mean that. This truck likes to go fast. And he told me that. He's like, now, with the tuning that's done to it, it doesn't like to, how do I put it? He said it doesn't run its best if you're being real easy on the throttle. He said this truck likes fuel. So he said if you want it to run the best, you got to drive it like you stole it pretty much all the time. And so that's that's one thing that, again, I don't know if the winner of this truck is going to like that or not. For me personally, when there's dry pavement, it's a lot of fun. And that's probably the funnest way to drive this truck because that's the way it's built. That's how it drives, but it just kind of depends on the driver and what they want. So we're gonna go grab the GoPro, hook it up in the truck and take it on the road and go for a drive. I'm very excited about showing you guys how this thing runs. But again, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to tell exactly how it runs because you know, you're watching it through a video. I'm actually driving it, but let's give you guys a look. CTS 2 can do a 0 to 60 time. Let me see. Performance settings 0 to 60. Okay. 
let's give this a try. I'm gonna actually do this one in four wheel drive. seconds oh my goodness oh my gosh oh my gosh guys I let out of the throttle because I was getting dizzy holy crap oh my goodness guys four point oh my gosh Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna do it again once this guy passes me. I'm freaking out right now, guys. This thing is insane. I didn't realize the truck could even move that fast. Oh my gosh, four high. Holy shnikes. Here we go. take a video of this so you guys can see it on this I just mind is freaking blown okay so I'm recording on the GoPro 0 to 60 time 4.1 seconds in 220 feet that's freaking insane let's do another run it hits like freaking 4,000 4,500 rpm like like instantly, as soon as I let off and lay into the throttle. Holy shnikes. It just did a freaking four wheel drive burnout. Holy crap. Reset. It's scary. Let's just say that. It is actually terrifying. Like, I'm scared to death right now. Oh my gosh. the first drive and run my first four-wheel drive launches ever and uh, I did just get off the phone with the guys over at the shop and I said hey just want you know the truck runs amazing um, runs phenomenal it did a 3.9 and then a 4.1 0 to 60 and four-wheel drive super happy with it guys this thing I'm impressed very 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 pleased I mean this thing is just it is a ripper I don't know if you guys could tell but there were several times in four wheel drive and the rain stopped probably an hour ago. It's just, it's just been a really cloudy day otherwise, but um, and the road was fairly dry over there, not entirely, but pretty darn dry. And this thing was just, it was doing four wheel drive burnouts. I mean, it was, it was crazy what this thing was doing. And I just couldn't be more pleased with how this thing turned out. I mean, it was a lot of fun before, but now this, this is a whole nother level. So hopefully guys got um, to see that genuine reaction on this thing, my first four by four launch ever in this thing with the tuning. Beforehand, I did a two wheel drive launch, several of them, and it was about seven and a half seconds, zero to 60 in two wheel drive, doing a lot of tire spin the whole way. But you know, I thought, oh, this is decent. I mean, it's a heavy truck. This thing now guys, 
and I don't know if it's just a four wheel drive that made all the difference, but it has insane amounts of power now. And this thing freaking rips. I mean, it, it's just it's insane so i want to thank you guys all for watching thank you guys so freaking much if you have not done so yet get entered to win this truck guys somebody's got to take it home might as well be you hopefully guys enjoyed it hopefully guys liked my reaction in the first drive i'm telling you you just you're gonna have to sit in it for yourself so get entered come on over here pick up a truck and five grand i guarantee you you will not be disappointed thank you guys so much for all the love and support place those orders last chance to get entered to win this thing i'll catch you guys in the next video peace